Canada, used, Canada should be the cheapest place in the world, Mr. Speaker, because of course we have more land per person than all but four countries on the planet. In other words, we have lots of space, just not a lot of homes. In fact, we have fewer homes than per capita than all other G7 countries, even though we have by far the most land to build on. And in fact, we have fewer homes per capita today than we did eight years ago when this Prime Minister took office promising more homes and more affordable homes. And if you want the best all-in-one measurement of this Prime Minister's performance on housing, look at the OECD, which compared housing costs to income starting in 2015 to present among all 37 OECD countries. So how have the pace, the ratio of home prices to family incomes grown in Canada relative to the other 36 OECD countries? We are the second worst. In other words, housing costs outgrew incomes in Canada at a faster pace than, than in all but one of the other 36 OECD countries. In other words, this is a new problem that occurred after this Prime Minister took office, and it is a problem that is unique to Canada. He cannot blame some prior government, and he cannot blame other countries, because he is worse than Canada has ever been, and worse than almost anywhere else in the world. This is a made in Canada problem, unique to this Prime Minister. Why? Because he has spent the last eight years building bureaucracy rather than building homes. He brags that he has the most expensive housing programs. He complains that when I was housing minister, my programs did not cost as much. And he is absolutely right about that. I had far more affordable housing programs. In fact, there were far few billions in my housing programs than there are in his programs. But we don't measure the success by how expensive we can be. We would measure success by how affordable we can be. He even made up a fact. He, he looked at a CBC headline, which is always a dangerous thing to do. <laughs> and he said that when I was minister that we, we only built 99 homes with $300 million. I said, what the heck is he talking about? I have a mind like a steel trap I would have remembered if I would announced a $300 million housing program. So I checked into it. But here's what actually happened. First of all, the program was created in 2008, a half decade before I even became the minister. Second of all, it didn't spend any money. The program was designed to encourage private home ownership by First Nations. It invested capital of $300 million and didn't spend a penny because the money was invested commercially. It actually grew to $380 million. And it wasn't 99 homes, there were 7,000 homes built, purchased, or renovated for First Nations people. So it didn't cost any money, it made a profit, and it built, renovated, and bought 7,000 homes. Oh, and by the way, the entire thing is run by First Nations themselves. No wonder the Liberals don't like any of that, Mr. Speaker. But forget the facts. If I had to deal with their body of facts in litigating the housing file, boy, I don't know what I would do. You might have to hallucinate to come up with some other facts, too. I, I might even get desperate enough to read CBC headlines as well. But